Ruth left everything for her mother-in-law, her homeland, her people, her culture, her faith, her gods, her theological convictions. You go on and discover more things what she left. Now, if we look again at the wording of the decision the determination that Ruth made. She says, where you go, I will go. Where you stay overnight, I will stay overnight. If you hear that in, in Hebrew, you are reminded much more of what God said to Abraham when he told him, come, go with me. And he had to make, Abram had to make a decision to break with his father's house, like Ruth. It was a very, very similar decision. Ruth then says, your people is my people. Your God is my God. So Ruth decided a complete break with her own family. Just as God required of Abraham when he told him, come, go, leave your land, your birthplace and your father's house and, and come with me into a direction of a land that I will show you. He didn't even tell him which land it is and Ruth did not know a lot of things. So with this confession, to go, and determination, to go with her mother-in-law, Ruth left her previous ethnicity and joined the people of Israel. She left all this context, all the, the area that was, was known to her, that was familiar to her, in order to join this Judean community. This is exactly what Yeshua later explains to his disciples. He says, anyone who does not renounce all that he has, who does not say, I let go my home, my family, whatever it is that keeps me, that's familiar to me, Yeshua says, cannot be my disciple. Oh, this is exactly what Paul describes in an image, in a picture, when he talks about the olive tree. And he says, we have to be broken out. We have to be cut off our familiar, natural olive tree. And it actually says there that we have to be cut off against nature. And that's how it feels. That is something unnatural something that hurts, that goes very deep, but it is the precondition to be grafted into the noble olive tree. So Ruth says, where you die, I will die. There I will also be buried. So shall the Lord do to me, and so shall he continue to do, only death will separate us. Actually, if we think about this word to separate, we think about another person in the context of Abraham, and that was Lot. Lot's decision to separate from Abraham and to go east, to go into the Jordan Valley, is 
described in Hebrew with exactly the same word, where it says then, so each man separated from his brother. And Lot chose for himself all the Jordan Valley, and he went there east, and in this way they separated from each other. It's the same word. Now, in a way, Ruth's speech, refusing to separate from Naomi, to abandon her mother-in-law, despite Naomi urging her, pressing her, putting pressure on her, this actually should have been Lot's response when Abram suggested that the two separate. In essence, what we see in this book of Ruth is always this choice between the path of Abram and the path of Lot. And what Ruth, who is a descendant of Lot, does in joining Naomi, a descendant of Abram, she reverses, goes back, makes a circle back to the decision that was there between Abraham and Lot. In a way, I might say that by the way here, it is very logical, it has a biblical foundation that we um, first looked at the footsteps of Abraham and then at a whole series of Romans 9 to 11, Paul, and suddenly find out that the book of Ruth is kind of woven into these thoughts. It is actually something that should come very natural because the Bible from creation to recreation shows us these huge lines and we have to learn not just to pick a verse there, pick a verse there and live of these single words, but we have to see these big scriptural lines that go from creation to recreation. And that's one of the goals of my teaching here, that, that we learn to think in these huge scriptural lines.